Three, two, one. Let's do this. My name is Monica Cho and welcome to this channel where we talk about fragrances. So if you're interested in that topic, press that subscribe button, smash it, and let's get on with today's video. Today we're talking about Leighton. Leighton from Parfum de Mali. Yes, the all famous Leighton. And I'm going to share with you my review of this fragrance. If you're interested in the fragrances, I always link all the fragrances I talk about or mention in the video down in the description bar. So, Leighton. I actually got Leighton in this sample set. I've got five fragrances here and I really, really recommend it. They sell these, well, they, Parfum de Mali sell these for 25 pounds. I actually recommended this sample set to one of you guys who messaged me on Instagram saying, oh, I don't have Parfum de Mali near me and I really want to smell it. And I said, yeah, just get a sample set because that's what I did although I've got Parfum de Mali near me. It's a really good, you know, way of really getting to know the fragrance, all five in this case, and deciding whether it's something that you really like. They also do women's versions, so both male and women's. Now let's take off Leighton. I'm not very good at spraying these sample sets. So in the meantime, whilst this is drying down a little bit, let's talk about the bottle. The bottle I don't have here, I've got the little atomizer, but I've seen it. I am in Birmingham where they've got the whole collection in Selfridges and I really, really love the bottle. I think I mentioned it in my Herod review. If you're interested in the Herod review from Parfum de Mali, I have also reviewed it on my channel. But Leighton, I love the bottle. It's blue, it's weighty. I love the cap, it's so cool. And I love the engravings on it. It's really expensive looking. So I really, really like that. Automizer is also really fine. I think packaging 10 out of 10. Automizer 10 out of 10. Now let's get on to the juice. Wow. I just have to be honest, this fragrance is really, really nice. I really, really love it. I especially love the opening because in the opening, at least to me, this smells like apple, spicy apple pie with some cardamom, some citruses. I can, to me on my skin, this is a very citrusy fragrance. So it's got mandarin, loads of mandarin on my skin, um, kind of lemony, citrusy vibe and apple and it's so beautiful and refreshing and I think Parfum de Mali has got this great thing going where they make sweeter fragrances that could be unisex. They just make them go towards a bit of the masculine side um, and I just love it how they do it. They balance it in the way that it's still kind of like a unisex fragrance but then it is a male fragrance, it's just beautiful. And the citrus really lifts up this fragrance and just the opening of this fragrance. It's just so cozy. To me, it kind of feels like a blanket of lovely apple pie that I'm eating like in cuddling in my duvet. Um, it's so cozy and wintry, but at the same time, really fresh. In this fragrance, you also have got vanilla, which is, you know, the sweetness comes from vanilla in this fragrance. You've also got some flowers. Oh my gosh. Another thing that this fragrance, I think most of the Parfum de Mali I smelled have got this really excellent pepper note and I love pepper. I think it makes the fragrance so masculine. I don't think any girl could ever hate this fragrance. It's such a crowd pleasing fragrance, but it's not common if you know what I mean. Everybody, I mean, everybody will like it, but it's not common smelling, it's not cheap smelling. You know how, for example, one million, it is good, but it's not excellent, but at the same time, it, it is common. This is crowd pleasing, like one million in a way, although I wouldn't really compare them as to the quality of the juice, but this is not generic. It is beautiful and it smells like money to me. It smells like somebody who's got taste. It smells like a guy who knows his fragrances, who loves to smell good, um, who is into smelling different fragrances and actually purchasing a bit more of an expensive fragrance to not smell like every other guy. It's just so good. 
it develops so beautifully and blends beautifully on the skin too. I love this fragrance. It also has got lavender, which I love lavender. I have to say in male fragrances, I love lavender. Um, one of my favorites is Amaris Homme, which has got, no, that one has got iris, but La Nuit de L'Homme, that one has got uh, lavender. I think it's just so masculine, um, but this fragrance makes the masculinity um, a bit softer, if that makes sense and it's not like in your face masculine fragrance it is an approachable masculine fragrance that was good monica so for a scent i would go as far as to say 10 out of 10. this is all i want in a male fragrance it smells masculine but i would wear it because i love it so much i would just wear it on my skin i really want a bottle i'll get a bottle and then i'll go to my husband and like surprise him from the back and be like psh, 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 psh. let's now talk about longevity and projection of this fragrance so longevity is excellent you get what you pay for you get eight hours plus it is excellent in terms of longevity in terms of projection the one that i've got on my skin it is moderate projection for about three hours and then it kind of settles down to a softer scent but uh, i have read many reviews saying that this has got excellent projection Ooh. so it might be just my sample it also could be my skin because my skin it loves sweet fragrances and it eats them up it is something my skin does it just does not project sweet fragrances so that might be the case i would say test it on your skin but most people say that this projects quite well so i would go with that so longevity 10 out of 10 perfect projection on my skin it would be probably 6 out of 10 because it's not that great it could be a special occasion fragrance but I would mostly uh, recommend it for everyday kind of wear. Uh, somebody might disagree with me, but I think Herod, which I smelled before and is also in the sample set, is much more of a formal uh, fragrance, formula, <laughs> if you can use that word, than Leighton. Leighton is perfect if you're starting out and making your collection and want something that will be very versatile. I would go for this first. Very crowd breezing. Girls will love it on you. Let me know now in the comments down below which apart from the Mali fragrance is your favorite. I would love to know and tell me if you think that this fragrance is worth the hype. And speaking of comments, I'm going to share my favorite comment from last video because if you didn't know that, if you subscribe and press that notification bell and comment, I will read your comment um, because I always read my favorite comment from last video, Barboski79, who says, nice review, exclamation mark. Like that you're honest about not liking the packaging and a bottle even though you received it for free. Would love to win as I'm just trying to grow my small collection. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you for commenting on my video and taking part of my giveaway. I have just published a giveaway with Jeremy Fragrance. I received and reviewed his Office for Men fragrance. So if you're interested in that video go to my channel and check that one out i post every monday and friday remember to subscribe so you get notified when i post next and i'll see you all again soon bye